Oh, just getting a video mostly for myself. These are, I believe, Xmark blades I bought from from one of the um, catalogs, mower blade catalogs. Stupid me, I threw away a bunch of my mower blade catalogs several years ago. But these, I think, I for I think are for uh, Xmark. 42 inch rear discharge zero turn these are brand new I never I've never used them I bought them I don't know 10 15 years ago and I uh, just didn't get around to building the pull type mower I wanted to build using these blades and uh, Toro commercial uh, walk behind spindles except I don't know if these are the uh, center hole let's see where is my tiny tape measure because uh, they have uh, blade spindles from a Toro 52 inch walk behind the old floating style those usually use a 5 8 inch center hole. Let's see. Let's use the tape measure here. And then my uh, Coral 522XI here, which has a 52 inch deck. Darn, there's mosquitoes flying around tonight. The blades on it are a half inch center hole. Mosquitoes. Well, look at that. That's a half inch center hole. So I can't use these unless they were drilled out, but they probably, probably would need a um, special drill bit to drill them out to 5 eighths. Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, let's get to the, okay, EX22R is for right, EX22L is for left hand, so same exact blade, I think they are, are, are exactly 22 inches long. The EX22R is a PPE1-6090. The EX22L is a PPE16089. Let's get the uh, try the tape measure again. Measure total length from tip to tip. Yep, right, 22 inches. I could imagine there there might be people out there looking for these blades because when I bought these blades from one of the aftermarket uh, blade companies you know 10 12 15 years ago I bought the last ones they had but you know maybe since it's X mark they uh, made several more batches since then but uh, it's kind of similar to the Oregon blades I get Oregon blades on this 522XI. The Oregon blades have a nice nice wing on the end, except it's a little bit longer than that. And they they uh, tend to pull the grass up, give a little bit better vacuum, and uh, cut it and cut the blade and kick it out. And that's that's the way I like it. I don't like um, mulching blades. The mulching blades don't have um, they don't have as good of a vacuum effect. Uh, the the blade clippings coming out of the mower deck on um, like a ninja type or a gator gator type. No wait, gator. The ninja blades are snapper. I forgot that. Gator blades are the ones you can buy for a lot of mower decks, and they the blade. The grass blades themselves are about half as half the length. It just don't doesn't cut as well. 
I had a um, years ago years ago I had a Toro 117 Groundsmaster mower with a 52 inch deck and I think I had tried every single blade made for that mower sand blades low medium high lift uh, gator blades uh, and then and there was a super high lift that I bought from a dealer they had they were um, no longer made and those worked pretty good except when I changed uh, um, uh, pulleys on it to speed up the mower deck it was uh, moving the air so fast that it was just flattening the grass but uh, anyway well that's enough of uh, blade talk tonight and uh, Boyd's uh, YouTube channel uh, but I mostly recorded this for myself thanks for watching see ya bye